What are lithography machines? Why is everyone talking about them? Is it so difficult to make one? And can China develop cutting-edge lithography machines independently? Microchips or semiconductors are the brains behind most of our electronic devices. From computers to phones, cars to appliances, they are essential to our digital world. And a key process in chip making is lithography. The production of cutting edge microchips below 5 nanometer is heavily reliant on extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, which are considered the crown jewels of the semiconductor industry. The only company in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines is ASML in the Netherlands. So, how does a lithography work? Lithography machines use light to create tiny patterns on silicon wafers, which are cut from 99.99% .99 pure silicon and refined to perfection. The patterns are like instructions that tell the microchips what to do. To make these patterns, lithography machines use a thin plate with a circuit diagram on it called a mask. The mask is like a stencil that blocks some parts of the light and lets other parts through creating a pattern of light and dark areas. The light then go through a system of mirrors and lenses that shrinks and focus the pattern onto the silicon, which is coated with a special photosensitive material called photoresist. The photoresist changes properties when exposed to light, making it easier or harder to remove. By removing the unwanted photoresist, the pattern on the mask is transferred to the silicon. The silicon then goes through other process to become a microchip. The smaller the pattern, the more powerful and efficient the microchip. However, there is a limit to how small the patterns can be, which depends on the wavelength of light used. Shorter wavelengths allow for smaller patterns. The most advanced lithography systems use deep ultraviolet, that's DUV, or extreme ultraviolet, EUV, light. DUV systems use wavelengths around 20 nanometers that can print features down to 7 nanometers, while EUV systems use 13.5 nanometer light and can print features down to 3 nanometers. So, EUV allows for more complex chip designs. Now we know why lithography is so critical for advanced chip. But a lithography machine itself is one of the most precise and complex machines humans can currently produce. An EUV lithography machine has three key components with over 100,000 high-precision parts. First, there is the light source. EUV light is generated by firing a laser at molten tin droplets of around 25 microns in diameter, which moves at 70 meters per second to create a plasma that emits EUV light. The laser and the light source technologies are monopolized by the German firm Trump and the American company SEMA, respectively. Secondly, there is the optics. The EUV optics manufactured exclusively by Germany's Zeiss are said to be amongst the smoothest object ever made, approaching the theoretical limit. The surface roughness is only 0.2 mm when expanded to the size of the Earth. The optics must operate in a vacuum without any interference. Finally, there is the etch table. This controls the etch patterns in the silicon with nanometer positions using 55,000 parts relying on IPs from Japan, Korea, the US, Germany, and others. From concept to realization, it took more than 20 years for EUV lithography to become commercially viable. It took ASML 13 years to develop the first EUV prototype and another 10 years to reach high volume production. Although manufactured by ASML, only 15% of EUV lithography machines are produced in-house, with 85% of parts being imported. EUV lithography is a collaborative effort involving 7 to 8 countries. In order for China to break through the technical barriers and produce advanced lithography on its own, it would have to achieve complete self-sufficiency across all three components. Meanwhile, the source power limited to around 500 watts EUV is reaching fundamental limits. This strings patterning for the 3 nanometer node and drives up cost. To move forward, the industry is exploring new directions such as SSMB EUV light source. In our last episode, we will take a close look at this new technology, SSMB EUV, which went viral in China for its potential to break through the US blockade. 
As usual, we look forward to hearing from you.